Halifax. Her day Running. one vault one coming up. She's very powerful on this event. She's a 2016 Olympian qualified to the vault finals, participated to each vault final during this cycle at the World Champ. Here is uh, Canadian Ellie Black out of Halifax, Alta Gymnastics, the 2017 World All-Around Silver Medalist. We can go on and on here. Six-time Canadian All-Around Champion. And she used to be, and some would say still is, pretty scared of bars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she does have her mental blocks, but she always overcomes them like a champ. Nelly had an ankle injury, very serious, in the fall of 2019 and made a miraculous gymnastics, a first year senior now eligible for the Olympics due to the delay to the 2020, what were originally 2020 Olympics. And by the way, Canada will name its Olympic team on June 17th and the selection committee will have a very tough decision figuring out which four women to send to this year's Olympics. They really will, Brenda. It's been amazing seeing this little one grow this past year, especially on bar. She brings terrific skill and her dismount is very unique. teammate at Gemini Gymnastics and this would be considered I would imagine her second best event behind uneven bars. Well when she hits this event it's definitely one of her top as well. And Elena Davidova is our coach. She is 1980 Olympic champion and top FIG judge and top Canadian coach. She has a lot of experience under her belt. And Ava's still very young, won't turn 16, I believe, until September. So if she was to make the Olympic team, she uh, very well could be Canada's youngest Olympic athlete at the Tokyo Games. A 
because of the postponement of those Olympic Games, that is how she became age eligible. So the pandemic affected uh, every athlete a little bit differently. For some, it was welcome news. For others, uh, it didn't quite work out as planned. Her score, 13.6.200. Now, Ellie Black. This is from day two. Coached by David Kikuchi, former Canadian Olympic men's artistic gymnastics member. Head coach of the Canadian team and Ellie's personal coach. You can also see how sparkly these Leos are. They're provided from GK Elite. And if Ellie was to qualify for this Olympic Games in Tokyo, it would be her third Olympics. And that would be tying for third Olympics alongside Teresa McDonald. And I know, Anna, you spoke about uh, the leadership that Ellie brings to this team. I know it's meant a lot to, to you over the years. She's been such a big influence um, for me and for many other gymnasts. Ellie score 14 points. her gymnastics grown within the last year she's worked so hard this past year her and elena together it's from day one and this incredibly is her 11th year in the senior category and she has new choreography this year floor one of her strongest events as you can see from these tumbling passes, very unique. I say it's one of her strongest events. I don't know if she has a weak event anymore. Uh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why she is world class in the all around competition.
What an amazing routine for Ellie. There is Brooklyn Moores. Burst into the international scene in 2017 by qualifying to two finals and winning the Longis Prize of Elegance at the World Championships. You'll see her elegance displayed throughout this entire floor routine. Oh, I get chills every time I watch this routine. And what makes that routine and that performance so remarkable, it was just, uh, I think in March, you and I...